Our next caller is Barry from Tennessee. Hey, Barry, how can we help you? Hey, guys. Uh, love what y'all are doing. Keep doing it. Uh, my question is, uh, one of my one of my goals, I've got a, a few goals, but one is to get to around 12% body fat. Uh, not really going after a six-pack. I have too much fun on the weekends for that. More of a, a four-pack type of guy. Yeah, um, but if I, hover around, if, I, yeah, if I hover around 15% body fat, most of the time, uh, I've never really gotten super lean. Um, so main question is, should I focus heavily on gaining muscle and strength and just staying fed and let the body kind of metabolism do its thing? Or should I try to go uh, on a bit of a cut? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Barry, how long have you been sitting at about 15% body fat? Uh I, I feel like it's my, and again, this it, I haven't gone somewhere to get it professionally uh, tested. I had calipers and I, and I tested it a few, um, probably three weeks ago. Um, really tested it after COVID kept me from going into the gym. I was doing a lot of at home workout being sedentary. Um, but just from, from pictures of myself, it, I, I think I, I tend to hover around that for a long time. Uh, I played lacrosse in college, so I was probably closer to 12 or 10 percent body fat back in you know 2012. Uh, but since then, I've kind of gotten a little fluffy. Okay, well, if you've been at 15 for a while, I'd say let's let's do a cut. Let's see, drop down a little bit because, and here's why. Um, when and one of my favorite things about dropping body fat is the after when I start to bulk again. So if you go down to 12 or 11 and then slowly increase the calories, you're going to see this nice muscle rebound. It's like the body, it's almost like a sponge when you do that for a little while. And it could take you, you know, going from 15 to 12% body fat, if you do it at a nice even pace, it would take you about, I don't know, six to nine weeks if you do it at a nice slow pace. Um, and at the end of that, increase your calories and focus on getting stronger and it's going to be real fun. It's really fun at that point to feel the muscle and strength gains after a cut. This is also a place where I would highly recommend starting to actually track food, right, to kind of see where you're at. Because it sounds like if you've been hovering around that 15 to 16, you've kind of found, uh, you know, your your natural body fat percentage that your body likes to be at with your lifestyle, meaning you enjoy the weekends every now and yep. then. You have consist consistency probably during the week. And if you're going to break that plateau, you're going to need to peer in a little bit more to yeah. exactly you what you might you're... need to switch to white claws, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's I, painful, but I yeah. would I would say you would you would want to peer into your nutrition uh, a little bit to get a, a closer look on exactly kind of what you're doing calorie wise and protein and carbs and fats, and then from there take the advice that Sal's saying, go on a cut for like four to six weeks and try and lean out and then re reintroduce. And I don't, and what may happen during that time is you may have to tighten things up on the weekend while you're trying to lean out, depending on where you're yep. currently at. So, I mean, I definitely okay. think, cause when you're around that, just by the way, too, for the audience that's listening, when you're around where you're at, you sound like you're in a pretty healthy place. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you were just trying to be healthy, I'd say you're probably kicking ass at it. I mean, you work out, you exercise, you maintain about 15 to 16%. I mean, shit, you're leaner than Sal and John Justin right now. So that's a pretty good Speak that's a pretty good <laughs> it's a pretty good place to be right now. So I don't think there's anything wrong with where you're at, but if you want to take it to the next level, lean out and see how your body responds that you're probably going to have to take your tracking and, and following your nutrition a little bit tighter. Yeah, no, I'm 14.8% I'm Adam. So I'm actually a little leaner than the, He's got the, a few points. I'm on leaner that. than Barry. Hey Barry, what does your workout look like? Uh, so during December, January, half of February, I uh, got out of the gym and was doing uh, a lot of TRX. Uh, I, I got y'all's TRX program and uh, y'all's Maps Anywhere program. Was doing those with just body weight and stuff. Uh, got finally got back in the gym about a uh, week and a half ago and started Maps Anabolic. Thought that would be a good one, so I'm on. Uh, just started second week of uh, phase one of oh. anabolic. Ah, beautiful. Nice. This right, is this right is when the track. yeah, this is when the strength gains really start to kick in. It's, it's it's a good time. Phase one is my favorite. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Well, perfect. Thanks thanks for calling in, Barry. Yeah, thank you guys. Y'all have a good one. No problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're at something for that long, and that's a good, you know, fifteen percent 
is not it's a great place. It's not overweight. Yeah. It's, it's not gr- super lean. Comfortable. It's, it is, and if you have good muscle under it, you're healthy, fit. You look good with your shirt. Which off. he probably does because he's he's stayed consistent even during COVID. He's on anabolic mm-hmm. right now, so the guy is probably pretty strong. Probably doing really well. You know, if the if his goal was health, then I'd tell him he's right. He's doing perfect mm-hmm. right now. But if you want to take your body to the next level, mm-hmm. and you and you want to lean out from there, this is where this is where I think because this is what we run into with a lot of people yeah. is they get to dabble. They've got they get into this place where, you know, they the, the body just kind of finds this homeostasis for them, which for him is probably this fifteen, which allows him to have this flexibility mm-hmm. of kind of eating what he wants every now and then and not really having to track. But then when you say, Hey, I have a, a goal, like I want to lean out to a certain percentage, this is where I just you gotta track. You gotta see where you're at to get an idea because what'll end up happening is you'll have one or two good weeks where maybe you start to lean out and then you'll have a high week. And then when you pull back and look at it over four weeks, you're kind of staying the same. You're not really making any progress. That's kind of weird how the body just naturally does that. You know, if you cut back for a couple weeks and you're not eating very much, sure, you start to lean out, but then you're really hungry that following week and then you start to overconsume a little bit and it all levels out to be that 15, 16%. Yeah, I couldn't agree more.